going to be doing a couple part series of what not to say to a service dog handler because this topic is really important to cover because there's a lot of service dog handlers that like there's a lot of people who need to know this so this is going to be a multiple part series so I am going to be doing them by part so it may be multiple things in one video or it may be just one video with one category or one thing so stay tuned love y'all all right guys this is part one of what not to say to a service dog handler this is one thing that you need to avoid is saying oh your dog is really cute can i pet your dog i want to pet your dog i want to pet him really really bad your dog is adorable you don't want to say that because service dogs are not pets. They are medical equipment that are there for their handler's disability. So avoid asking, can I pet your dog? Because most of the time or 99% of the time, you'll get a stern no from the handler. And they'll also say, no, he or she is working. Sorry. So don't be one of those people that pet the dog randomly. All right, y'all. I'm going to do, do part two real quick. So part two of what not to say to a service dog handler. Number two. I did number one in my first video. This is number two. Don't be that entitled person who... Don't say, oh, you don't look disabled, you don't have a physical disability, so you don't need a service dog. Don't say that. That is an absolutely no, no to saying to a service dog handler because disabilities can come in invisible form as well. So the person might have a mental disability that requires them to have a service dog and some have physical disabilities that require them to have a service dog. So don't say that they don't need the service dog if they're not physically disabled. All right, y'all, I know it took me a while to get this up, but this is part three of what to not say to a service dog handler. This is another thing that you should avoid. The third thing of not to, what not to say to a service dog handler is that your child, your child needs the service dog more than the person with the dog does because that's important to know because on every single dog's vest or harness or whatever, there's a sign, there's a patch that says do not separate from handler and you guys should know that people should respect those signs. So instead of this being a part four of what not to say to a service dog handler, I just have to go over this, the ADA federal law for service animals. Um, it is, if you go to, it's under ada.gov, um, so service animals are miniature horses and dogs. Those are the only kind of animals, um, that you can use for service animals and believe this tell this kind of tells a little bit about service animals here, but I'll get out of the way. So you can read it. I am legally qualified for a service animal, and I need a service animal to build help. All right, guys, this is another part of what not to say to a service dog handler. This is another part for the ADA. Um, 
So service animals are defined as dogs that are individually trained to do work or perform tasks for people with disabilities. Uh, they can help with PTSD, anxiety attacks, mobility, seizures, pulling people in wheelchairs, and all these other tasks. Um, the reason why you don't want to distract service animals is because they are really, they are really expensive to train. Um, and their medical equipment. So if you're if the dog gets distracted, it could the handler could end up in the hospital. So don't distract a service dog. All right, guys, part four of what not to say to a service dog handler. Now you don't want to tell them. You don't want to say. Oh, I want to register my. ESA or my pet as a service animal because there is no legal certification for service animals um, that is all scams and if you're caught with if you're caught faking a service dog then you will get jail time and it just makes it harder for those with service animals to get public access where the service animal is needed, just like the general public. This is part five of what not to say to a service dog handler. You never want to tell a service dog handler, I wish I could have a service dog. Because that service dog handler needs the service dog for their disabilities that they have. And you can't just have a service dog just for the fun of it. You need to have a um, diagnosed disability and a doctor's note to be able to have a service dog. So that's one thing that you should never say to a service dog handler is that you wish that you had a service dog because you don't want to make public access harder for actual service dog handlers and their service dogs. All right, guys, this is part six and the last part of what not to say to a service dog handler. You never want to tell them service dogs are just well-trained pets because they're not pets. They are medical equipment that are trained to mitigate a handler's disability. And if you tell if you tell a service dog handler that their service dog is just a well-trained pet, then you will get then you will get educated. And you don't want to make a service dog handler mad by saying that their service dogs are just well-trained pets with their medical equipment. That's why Pets are not allowed in public places, but service dogs are because service dogs are are seen as medical equipment and they're there to mitigate their handler's disability that the handler has. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video series of what not to say to a service dog handler and make sure to hit that, hit that subscription button and notification bell and hit the like button and make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss another video i will see you guys in the next vlog bye